Welcome back, everyone. Time for some more RimWorld. Where are you guys going? I was stripping those bodies. Um, so, what are we up to today? I think I've had some requests from people to do a, to do a modded run of RimWorld. And it's probably about time for that. So I think what what's going to happen now is we're going to start looking into building the spaceship uh, to get the hell out of here. So I think that's the plan. Which means that we need to look at ship tech and see what we want to build first. But we probably don't really have the materials for this at the moment. But I'm just looking. Plasteel in particular. Alright, so fraps crashed. So that's what happened there. Alright. So as I was saying, we don't have plasteel for pretty much any of this right now. We could build the ship core. We could build some of the sleep caskets, but that's it, because we need lots and lots of plasteel. So we're going to have to start buying it when people come to visit. I have a feeling there's probably no plasteel on this map. And if it is, it's hidden somewhere in the mountains, I guess, because it's definitely not on the edges of the, uh, the edges of things. So, so but that's the plan. We're going to build a spaceship, probably build it out here, because this seems like a good spot, because we can take the roof off eventually. But, not really an option at the moment. But once we, um... Once I build, once I finally actually get the spaceship built and we get out of here, I'll do a modded run. That's the plan. I need to turn my headphones down, they're way too loud. There we go. That storm was making it really hard to hear. I do have, yeah, decent amount of stuff down here. Make it a little bit. Gotta make sure we get it all. Alright. I suppose we can turn the prison stuff off since we got rid of our prisoner. No reason to keep all that on and waste power. Alright, since there's not really that much that needs doing at the moment, I'm going to do some kind of basic housekeeping. And that means taking a few people off of their normal duties to do other things. So paramedic is already repairing and cleaning and hauling. Um, Big Red is also hauling. I think that's probably it. Let's see how that goes. Make sure nobody's restricted here. Nope, unrestricted all the way down. Good. What is that? What is that on the ground? Building rubble. Oh, okay. Cat, what are you doing? Just hanging out? You're still missing an arm, aren't you? Yeah, you're still missing an arm and a foot. <laughs> poor, poor lady. It's got a rough time. Tortoise leather. Okay. Alright, so paramedic, what are you doing right now? He's hauling. Okay. Big Red, what are you doing? Playing? He's hauling that? Alright. So these people are working on the things they're supposed to be working on. This piece of art is still under construction. Hopefully she'll finish it eventually. I'm curious to see what kind of monstrosity she comes up with. It'll probably be ugly, whatever it is. Alright, paramedic. When he's done with that, I'm going to make him do something else. You're going to go to sleep? Okay, fine. You can go to sleep. Big Red. Big Red wakes up. Uh, of course. Why does that always happen? <laughs> you guys got a caught on fire, huh? Smooth. Doesn't seem like it should be that hard to put a fire out without getting yourself caught on fire, but what do I know? Wake up. Come help. Alright, everybody. Go put the fires out. Steven, you're actively on fire. 
Ah, uh, my colonists, man. Malvinia is down because she's on fire. <laughs> and so is Sass. Alright. Man. These guys are not so good at this. Oh, they're both down. Okay. Any of you actively on fire? Yes, apparently. Cat, can you rescue her, please? Now you're on fire, too, huh? Man. I've never seen this happen before. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He's actually going to die if that somebody does not help him out. Paramedic, can you? Are you? Yes, you're awake. Alright, nobody is really available here. Cat, what are you doing? Cat, what are you doing? Are they dead? Yes, they're dead. Wow! And now she's down too. Okay. Put her out, Steven. Put him out. Can't believe this is going to be what takes my colony down. Oh my god. Can't fire reserve by paramedic. All right. Put him out. Now paramedics on fire. Are you serious? <laughs> Put, put these people out. You need to... You guys are both on fire now, too? Seriously? This is ridiculous. Now Cat just died. Holy crap. Oh, when the temperature's getting too high. Room, zone area. No roof region. Right there. It's all the heat out. Holy crap, man. Big Red is majorly dead. Are you serious? Look at this. We're down to three people. What the f How did this happen? I think it was because it was inside, actually, now that I think about it. I bet that's what it was. I didn't get the... Since I didn't get the um, didn't get the roof turned off fast enough, it spread really fast. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Cargo pods, uh, not really my priority at the moment, actually. All right, let's let's open the roof up here too. Actually, all right, hang on. It's no roof region. I don't want it getting too hot in there. That's gonna blow. That's gonna explode right there. Get out of there, guys. Oh, they were in the... Uh, I can't believe we're down to three people. Man. Fire, man. I'll get you. Dangerous business. Alright, looks like we might be moving on to that modded run a little earlier. If this doesn't... Uh, oh, and of course Melvinia's got an infection now. And paramedic just broke. Can you rescue him, please? Bug is, what, going to... Extinguish that fire, I guess. Or he's trying to, at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody's got infections. Hey, Pug went, went berserk. Nice. <laughs> okay, this is going very well. Can you get up? No. Malvinia is down. Did you go on fire yet? No. 
If Pug comes back to his senses, we can rescue, but probably won't. It isn't going to happen. Man, in case you were wondering, do not let uh, fire get to you, because it, it'll put you down. Can you get out of bed, please? No. Yep, there's Malvinia's on fire. She'll be dead in a second. Alright, Pug, you want to come to your senses and rescue her? No? Yep, well, she's dead. Paramedic, you awake yet? Nope. Lots of burns and some... Hey! Pug decided to go to sleep. Well, that was definitely not how I saw the colony dying. <laughs> I gotta say. Hey, Pug's awake. Pug, get up. Oh, he's down. Oh well. Pug's dead. Our one hope is, is that Paramedic comes back to life here. And then he's useless at and, uh, attacking things, so... <laughs> Starving. He's almost dead, too. Pug is burning to death over here. In shock from exceptional pain. <laughs> oh, man. Get out of bed, dude. See ya, Pug. It's nice knowing ya. Turns out fires aren't anything to mess with. Guess I should have taken the roof off quicker. That's the lesson. In case you were wondering, children, wonderful watchers and my friends, um, if you get in a fire inside like that, take the roof off or else everyone dies. Which is good. Good advice. Um, we're going to see if he gets, if we can get paramedic up before he dies, which does not appear to be the case. Um, he's asleep. He's about to break. He's in shock. Nope. Burning up. He's too hot now? It's hot in there? Oh, because of this fire. I guess. That's weird. I don't think he's going to survive long enough enough to uh, wake up. Trivial malnutrition. Untreated infection. I don't think they can treat themselves for infection either, so that's going to be basically the end of the road. But I'm going to play this out to the end. I'm going to see what happens. Yep, severe illness. Unconscious. Alright. Still can't get up. This, the fire is about to get into this room. And then he will really be dead. Because he'll burn to death. There goes the there goes the power. Oh, the fire didn't make it into this room. Alright. Let's just wait let's just sit here and watch him die. Okay, that was a really weird way to die. There he goes, and we're gone. Everyone is dead or gone, the story is over. Perhaps someone else will find the ruins of this place. Probably not. Um, so that's how the colony dies, apparently. I really did not see that coming. Lesson learned. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving me a like. Helps me out a great deal. You know, you can like our inevitable and terrible demise. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much.